So, now I will show you the program I wrote and I just started so you can see it. It's a pop-up window with a four-point polygon and this polygon is uh, rotating slowly and it rotates uh, around three axes and it has different colors and yeah nothing special but you can uh, increase the rotation speed of one X of this polygon by pressing the plus uh, button at the num block. I do it just a little bit. I don't want uh, to go it too fast because of the screen recording. By minus uh, you can slow it down but I just uh, let it keep going now. And yeah I spoke about acceleration and the easiest way to accelerate would be to um, to just uh, take a linear function by by adding uh, a, f a value onto uh, the speed every time you press the plus button. But that uh, that wasn't uh, what I uh, actually did because uh, the program uh, would be very boring if I had done this uh, this way. Um, you, you must press the plus button endlessly and nothing happens and so I decided to um, accelerate this polygon uh, rotation by using an exponential function and this is something you can do very easy in assembly uh, if you know something about um, floating points. I don't want to go too much in detail um, but I will show you a little bit of it. It's a little trick, it's not a big deal, but uh, it shows uh, what uh, you can do with assembly uh, very easy. And um, I'm, I think in more high-level languages uh, the compiler um, may say, hmm, I don't do this and you have to do research and look and read uh, how you can tell the compiler to just do what you want to do and uh, these problems you don't have uh, in assembly. Uh, look here, there's the speed. It is um, written uh, as a floating point value but uh, the, the assembler doesn't uh, look uh, for 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 such uh, things uh, f for the assembler it's just data and it is uh, my problem uh, what i what i do this with this data and so i took uh, a second value this is the the ex acceleration and um, it has the same size as a uh, single precision floating point here but i represented it in a binary form and I don't want to go too much in detail, but if you um, you can you can look at Wikipedia how floating point uh, values are represented in computers, and uh, I just say that uh, this value of uh, 0 0.125 is not an accident. Uh, it's um, two exponent minus three, and this means that uh, this uh, these bits down here at this value are also zero, just like here. It just has uh, another number, a higher number in in this area. Um, and this is this is a sign bit. It is in both cases zero because uh, the values are positive. So we have two in remarks uh, floating points, and you want to have an exponential function. And I do this by just adding those values together, which I did here. I move the speed uh, to a register, then I add the acceleration to the speed. Remember, these two types are in, in mind, they are floating points, 
but the assembler uh, treats uh, treats them just as data, and I can do this operation. A C compiler wouldn't do this, uh, wouldn't do such a thing. And then I move the value back, and uh, then I have the new speed, which is a parameter for the OpenGL function GL rotate, and these values are interpreted by this function as a floating point. The function expects a floating point. And by doing this you get your exponential acceleration. I take a, a floating point value and I take another floating point value and I choose those values um, yeah, by knowing how this um, these uh, floating point values are represented in in the cage, and then I add them together with the integer addition, and the result I interpret again as a floating point. And this is a small example how you can uh, do uh, some functions uh, very quick and very easy uh, by uh, by uh, knowing. Um, how this uh, how this uh, how all this stuff works and you can do it with a sampler very quick and very easy um much much easier than in in high level languages because uh, the assembler doesn't uh, doesn't ask you some things okay and um i think that's all i have to say at the moment that this program uh, this isn't uh, everything this program does um, it has it has uh, more functions but I uh, don't uh, want to show you all this um, I just want to uh, to wanted to give you a, a small introduction um, in a little in assembly programming overview over assembly programming and uh, and about about FASM and I think if you want to watch what happens if you accelerate uh, this polygon, you should uh, watch the third part. As I said, it's a little bit long, but you can also scroll through. Okay, if someone is now interested in programming flat assembler, um there is a home page um, and you can look you can get the assembler there it is freeware it's open source and is self compilable and it has a community and if you have questions or if you need code you can uh go through the message board and can uh, can search for it Okay, that's all so far. Thank you for listening and yeah, have a good time. Bye.